Boys, I have something to tell you. In fact, there's someone I want you to meet. Someone very important to me. Someone you guys have been asking about a lot. And it's this man's right here. This is Tito. Tito will be joining us for all of October videos. Tito is currently being sought out by the Russian government for extradition. He has committed countless war crimes. His list of felonies is almost endless. And although the Russian government wants to extradite Tito, I will be harboring this fugitive for the rest of October. Here's it, let me tell you, let me tell you exactly what's gonna happen. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. The feds are gonna come knocking. FBI, open up! Papa Meeks, yeah, Papa Meeks. I'm gonna say, what, what? What can I help you with, officer? They're gonna say, we had a tip that there might be a Tito Svolinovsky being harbored in this very garage. I'll say, <laughs> officer, 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 me? Harbor a fugitive? You gotta be out of your mind. And they'll say, no, 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 no. Why don't we just, why don't we just take a look around? We're looking for a Tito. He's a ghost. I'll say, have at it, gentlemen. Go ahead and look. A ghost, you say? There's just, just a pumpkin. I, just, I got a pumpkin here, but there's no ghost. All right, Papa Meeks, carry on. Be respecting women. Nice to meet you, officer. Thank you very much for your, your service. Boom! And then he's right back in it. Let's go, boys! Hey, you see the jersey, too. A lot of exciting new stuff today. Last season, our mascot jersey was Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson was in the background. Zach Wilson was our quarterback. This year, I know it's early to say this, but I cannot express how excited I am to have this AKA Marshawn Lynch with Freight Train. Absolute monster. And I'm very excited to use him. I think the Seahawks jerseys look so fire, too. Like, I love this little thing around the neck, the arms, and they're just dope. So we're sitting at an 80 overall with one of the best offensive lines I've had at the start of a season in a while. However, Coquive cannot stay. Xander Horvath cannot stay. Hello, Shakir cannot stay. None of these linebackers, except for Micah Parsons, will be staying. Minka may be my playoff safety. We'll have to see. My corners suck. My D-line sucks. I do have kicker Justin Reed, though, who I'm very happy to have back on the squad. So that's where we're at right now. Wheel them up. We have one loss and two wins, which is also an interesting spot to be in. So two losses and I'm out. Three wins, and I'm in the playoffs. All right, boys, let's do a little scheming. Wheel of Mutt, episode four of the new season, which makes this episode number 12, I think. I, I lose track of my new Yes, maybe. Yes, maybe. This is three packs, pack a punch. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to open three packs. Shocker. I can pack a punch one player from those three packs. For example, if I pulled the core elite DK Metcalf, I could pack a punch that into the 91 overall limited. Now, obviously, I already have the 91 overall limited DK Metcalf, but I know some of you are smooth brain, low IQ, didn't go to Harvard like myself, so she might have needed a little refresher. Now, the only caveat is I cannot cheese with a pack that guarantees a pack a punchable player. For example, an AKA pack is going to guarantee me a player I can pack a punch. I have to actually pull it with luck. This is just not fair. Otherwise, it's basically just an AKA jackpot. So my best odds, I think, is probably a pro elite pack. That or a 16 gold plus players bundle. I'm going to go three pro elite packs. We'll see what this does for us. All right, so I can pack a punch one player out of these three packs. I'm going to just say off the top of my head, I don't think Michael Hoked. Hoached. I don't think he has a pack a punch. Wild guess, but I don't think so. Darnell Mooney. I played Fortnite with him the other day. He definitely does not have a pack a punch. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's so awesome. Except that sucks balls. He's literally just Marshawn Lynch, except slightly worse. Slightly better in some regards, but overall not as good. So that could have been awesome, but it's not. Marcus Williams? Marcus Williams does have an 87 overall free safety. It's a pretty damn good free safety too. I could probably move him to corner. That's my best option right now for sure. Ryan Griffin, Austin Ryder. All right. First pack has a good option in 87 overall free safety. I, I wouldn't say it's my first choice. Depending on what I get, Desmond King, I have to assume because because he's a Texan that he doesn't have another card. Oh, Desmond King has an 87 overall team affinity corner. That's our number one option right now. That is badass. And as you guys probably know, I'm a little biased towards the Houston Texans after my CFM. So Mike Hughes, I don't think Mike Hughes has a good card other than that. Yeah, that's the only Mike Hughes card. So right now, Desmond King is definitely the winner. Ooh, what's this? Oh, team of the week, Derek Rivers. Two Texans, pretty cool. All right, Desmond King, you're my winner right now. Let's see if anything changes that. Legend, legend. 
legend, 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 Lester Hayes. Lester Hayes has an insane corner. Now, I I'm gonna be honest with you. The only reason I'm not like through the moon about this, I really like current players over some of these like kind of random legends. Lester Hayes was a beast. I'm not taking anything away from Lester Hayes. I feel like that's just so much less relatable than a player that's currently in the league. Now, I get it if it's Randy Moss or Barry Sanders that everybody knows. I guess my main point is EA puts in legends like just the most random players. Like where's where's the guys we all talk about? No, no. Riley Dixon? <laughs> Sorry, man. It's not gonna be you and Garrett Griffin. And you know what? I think the position I needed the most was corner. And my options were really corner or safety. So this is pretty awesome. 125,000 coins. 85 overall Desmond King. He's a little short, but 85 speed, 87 excel. I think he's gonna get the job done. All right. First wheel spin actually going well in our favor. I love to see that. All right. Second wheel spin coming in hot. I wouldn't mind another one. Check out. Check out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's tons of insane team of the week cards. This is an insane wheel spin. One of the best tight ends of all time. 600,000 coins. So he's expensive. No doubt about that. It's a 6'4", 255, 87 speed. He's basically a receiver. Just a really big receiver. Doesn't block all too well. But bro, Antonio Gates, Chargers, 600,000 coins out the door. Antonio Gates. I didn't have to think too hard about that one. I wanted a tight end and I got one. I'm sorry, Co-Keefe. Actually, you know what? Let's come pair him. Before I say he's better than Coke Keefe, we gotta put him side by side. Oh, right. Oh. The classic EA. This is a next-gen console on a football simulation video game. I've seen a Skyrim 80,000 frames per second hentai titties mod run better on a Series X than Madden 23. For research purposes, I downloaded the mod myself actually and ran it. Just to prove a point, of course. Alright, Coke Keefe. You've been such a monster. Such an animal. Such a team player. How do you stack up against Antonio Gates? Alright, so Coke Keefe is is faster, stronger, catches better, no. more spec catch, better route run. What? And look at that. They block the same. So really, overall, I think I made a bad decision. Probably should have just kept Coke Eaft in there, but I already made the decision, so there's no pulling out now. I never learned how to pull out. Oh my gosh. Zantonio Gates. Woo! I'm calling him Zantonio now. I just thought of it. Now I'm going to stick with it. Zantonio Gates, our starting tight end. Bro, you know, I always love Team of the Week promo. They fumbled the bag with this card art. This shit looks so dumb. I don't know. Everybody's got their opinion, but some people's opinions are just wrong. All right, boys, that should ease the pressure on Michael Vick. I think throwing to Antonio Gates on a lot of those very important tight end routes will be a lot nicer than Coquife. All right, boys, that leaves our final spin. If I can choose, I want linebacker D-line because my offense is outweighing my defense right now, and that's a no bueno. All right, so I can take any single player in the game, 88 overall or lower, but they must... Oh, Lions! Give it to me! Let's go, baby! You know who's a really good option? Is Amani Oruwarie. Amani Oruwarie's team affinity corner is... Oh, he's so good. I could get Aiden Hutchinson as an outside linebacker. That's not a bad option. I could get Night Train Lane as a corner. I don't like that as much as Amani Oruwarie. Dude, take a look at this Oruwarie. Ooh, there's Pene Sewell too, though. This is Oruwarie, 6'2", 86 speed. So he's taller and faster than Desmond King. I do love Amonra St. Brown, but I've got great wide receivers. Ooh, hindsight is 2020. But damn, I should have taken like Champ Bailey or something else instead of Antonio Gates. And then I could have gotten cock and socks right here. But that's not how Wheel of works. I got to go and order my wheel spin. We're taking Amani Oruwarie. This guy's a beast, dude. There have been times where he's played much better than Jeff Okuda. And we took Jeff Okuda in the first round. We took Oruwarie in like the fourth or the fifth. He's been a solid pickup. You know, season one's great going undefeated, but these games have been awesome. Of course, we've got a challenge wheel. One of the most important things. I can either get a pack from the store or salvage a lost player if I have 88% completion this game. Now, this is a very tough challenge to put it in perspective. If I threw 11 for 12, that's 91%. This shit ain't easy. We're going up against Beast Monkey. There's our top three. He's got Dave Casper, DeMarco Murray, Cowboys theme team, maybe. Who he has abilities on is weird. Although that DeMarco Murray's insane. He's got goal line back. He's a beast. Dude, who does these jersey matchups? Thank God I got yellow on my jerseys, bro. We're wearing the same damn jersey, just a different off color. Actually, you know what? No, the yellow is, is actually, the yellow's mad clutch right now. Hey, good tackle. I got a question. What do you guys think of the dark lighting? Is this too weird? Can you not see my face well enough? We're gonna try it like this. This is kind of a late night video. I'm getting spooky with it. First and 10, I'm running main coverage because I'm a cheesy sweater and I have no respect for myself. Throw it right here. Oh, boom! Parham! Desmond King right here. Oh, that's a run play. Let's get to the edge. There's Paula Malu! Eat him up! Pause, bro. Look at Tito, just making the set all nice and spooky. Parham, he's gonna go Parham. Shit. 
Oh, nice ball. Good hit. All right, first and 10. Is that play action? Oh, it's Micah Parsons. Another run play. Micah? Oh, no, I missed it. Big hit. Bigger hit. Damn. Dude, when that DeMarco Murray gets in the red zone, he runs the ball so effectively because of goal line back. I'm on I show speed. I'm going to lurk him with I show speed, bro. Oh, right over the middle. Oh, oh, oh. Sketchy ball. Nice play. This is QB sneak. There's nothing I can do about it. Come on, boys. It stopped. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go goal line and just guess. Oh, maybe he goes a stretch this time. Or is it the same play? Oh, it's a stretch. No, no it's the same play. Shit. All right, he got me. He got me, dude. All right, seven to zero. This could be a good game here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take everything we can get. This is Will Mutt, dude. I don't care. Beast mode's lit up to start the game. You guys know how it works. Wait for our blocks. There we go. Break one. I've got Gates now. I've got Jay Jettas. I think Jay... Oh, wait. Completion percentage. I have to throw good balls every time. <laughs> Are we going to call that a good ball? Probably not. All right. I got impatient. I wanted my lights back on. I think checkdowns, though. Checkdowns are the key to completion percentage. <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but like... Ugh! I literally have to throw perfect the rest of the game. I'm so bad at this challenge. I'm so bad at this challenge. I'm gonna send Matt Calf across his face and I'm gonna throw Antonio Gates. Okay, Antonio Gates, go right at the user. Mm. All right, let's pump these numbers up, boys. We gotta get to nine for 10 to be at 90%. Marshawn? Damn it! Well, now that we are one for three, we've got a massive hill to climb up to complete this challenge. But hilariously, I think we can do it. Except when I don't even get the... I have three incompletions. How would it even be possible now? I'm two for five. 23 for 26 is 88%. I'm going to try and go 23 for 26. That's a good start, Jay Jettas. Let's see if he stays in this. These are pretty much guaranteed completions for me because I know exactly what this coverage is and how it looks. Beautiful. Antonio Gates. Let's go, Antonio Gates! <laughs> Oh my god! He's taking on the whole squad! I think this is uh, cover three, so I think Metcalf's a touchdown. Although, let's just, let's just watch. Oh. Okay. Hard cut. Juke. <laughs> Five for eight now. Metcalf. Uh oh, that's not the best ball, but a good catch! And he powers through for a first. I think that's a first, right? <laughs> that DK is so beefy, bro. You love a little beef. I'm looking for Matt Calf over there because I think this is man coverage. Oh. Matt. I'll just step up with Vic and, and go down. That was not man coverage. I think Matt Calf's a touchdown if it's the same defense. I had it. Oh, I got scared and I didn't throw it. Vic's gonna go forward, third and goal. I gotta actually throw this, dude. I gotta stop being scared. I I'm playing so scared right now. We're throwing Metcalf. Actually, no, we're throwing Gates. Gates? Oh, shit! Metcalf! Let's go! <laughs> I didn't think that would work, but it did. All right, well, I can't get any additional completion percentage on a two-point conversion, so let's just take our PAT, go up by one point. Right now, we're throwing six for nine. I have to throw 17 straight passes without an incompletion. First play, look Casper. Hey! Mariota goes down to Logan Wilson. Let's take a big one from 89. He's going to go par him. Oh, nice ball. Nice tackle, though. That's why you got to go low on the big boys. See, he's five for five. Now, the meta, you know what the meta would have been, Matt, if you weren't stupid? I would have thrown one pass complete and then ran the ball the rest of the game. 38 seconds on the clock. Oh, jeez, that's so open. CD Lamb. Do it, 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 do it. Come on! Oh, bro, I swear I got mitts on it, and I still got mossed. Damn. Hey, in fairness, that is Shaquille Griffin, 84 overall, and that's Dave Casper. This is a huge play, though. This is huge. Don't run it. Don't run it. If he runs it, I'm fucked. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good defense. Yes. All right. You know, I think we had a little lucky there, then a little unlucky on the catch, so it all evened out. 7 to 12. Not the best looking score, but dude, the fact that he has not gotten a single point after attempt is really good for us. Ow. Where's the user? Where's the user? Now I really can't get the challenge. All right, good. His user's on beast mode, which basically just leaves him wide open. We're going to Saints Fork because he's, he's camping in man coverage. I think Jay Jettis gets great yards here. Oh, Jesus. I'm burnt toast here on the completion percentage. I'm just trying to get a field goal. Dude, 
just blatant defensive pass interference. Game didn't give a shit. Oh, oh, Antonio Gates. <laughs> Antonio Gates. I said Antonio Gates great release. I said Antonio Gates. Okay, we're down by five. Vic's having a good game. I don't think we're on pace for 300 or three touchdowns, though. He's got one touchdown, maybe 100 some yards. We start with the ball here. God, we got to have a really big half here. We got we to gotta delete this man coverage. Find a way. It's got to be better than it. Okay, switch on. Yes, sir. I love when you switch on. Oh, I love when they switch on. I love when they switch on. Let's go. So this route from Gates is totally not a man beater route, but I think right now it is just because how good Antonio Gates is. Because, yeah, that's main coverage. But if he goes up to that, I'll go, dude. I was going to say, he goes up to that, I'll go beast mode, but beast mode can't get shit. Uh, I'm going the whip route, Antonio Gates, and then Metcalf on a slant. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Antonio Gates. Oh, my God. Just torched him. Let's go, Gates. Same thing to Gates. Still man coverage. Still man coverage. Let's go, baby. Audible. Audible zone. Yes. Let me throw Vic. Let me throw Metcalf. Let me throw Metcalf. Let's go. Let's go. Shit. Well, I got him on a D-tackle, which is nice. RB! What a ball, Vic! Oh my god, Vic just made that throw! That's 82 overall, Mike Vic! Yo, and we go for two. Absolutely, we go for two. I'm gonna trust Marshawn Lynch here. I'm going stretch left. Marshawn, cut it up. Yes, sir! Hey! User over commits. We're in 15 to 12. That's a response drive right there, boys. Great response. Ooh, that's a run. Great. <laughs> Who is that? George Karlaftis. Second and 12. Keep the heat up. Keep the heat strong. Oh, I'm on his big boys. Hey! Back to back plays, same thing. Just aggressive heat here. Aggressive heat. Come on, baby. What do you got? I'm on it. I'm on everything. I'm on everything. No, sir. That's Palomalu. He's not. I was gonna say he's not gonna get mossed. That just sucks, bro. Oh! Take all my anger out on that hit. Nice play, Palomalu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep doing that shit. You know what? Keep doing that shit. You will get picked off. I'm going. I'm peeling to Dave Casper. I'm peeling off to him. Let's go. Yes! I knew it! I knew it! Let's go, Micah! Come on. We can house this. Let's go. 15 to 12. This is a big, big drive here. Oh, I could get three touchdowns, Michael Vick, right now. I might just airmail one to DK Metcalf. Shit. Box like a fish. Box like a fish. Oh, Metcalf touchdown. You just made your last mistake, son. Can't be doing that, son. Whoa, where's that ball to Vick? I think Jefferson on the whip. Snap it. Fucking heaving one. Oh, that is such a bad ball. Catch it. Yes. Yes. That was literally a punt dot. That was a fucking arm punt dot. He intercepted it. And now he's on the one. Oh my God. And Parsons is lit up. Does he run the ball? No. Okay. Nice throw. Oh no. This is bad, bad. Bad, bad. Desmond King. Huge tackle. Carlaftis is insane right now. Two sacks, three tackles. One's a TFL. I think he throws CD Lamb short. Yup. Yup! <laughs> he saw me go over there and he got cold feet. He couldn't throw it third and 27. Come on, dude. I got to give Vic another touchdown. That's like my really... That's what I'm really worried about right now. Might be blocking par and he's not. Oh! Carlaftis in his face again. He's going to just try and Hail Mary one to Dave Casper. Yup. I'm on it. I'm here. Yup! Let's go! We got the quarterback again. Oh, we just have to throw one. The shortest win. You know what's funny? One of the top comments from a wheel of mutt was, Matt's gonna fully regret these Michael Vick challenges because so many people are gonna rage quit. Perfect example. Literally perfect example. And for that reason, I'm gonna give Michael Vick the upgrade. All we had to do was throw three yards. Three yards for a touchdown. We, we got it. We stopped him right there. Michael Vick moving on up the ranks. Good to see it, baby. Still doesn't get any abilities that are really worth a shit. This next one is where he unlocks tier two and I think also tier three, maybe just tier two and he'll start to get actual abilities that we can use for now we're just hanging out with this goofball michael vick right here 84 overall though no he's got 83 speed 85 excel and he's pretty much 80 plus in every throw stat desmond king amani or a warrior and probably the mvp of that game antonio gates locked into the squad and i just realized i got antonio gates i have to give him abilities i've got a rage quit wheel spin as well so let me give him some abilities real quick since now he's locked in so wow he has four slots for abilities totally a double me guy actually 
you know what, dude? I mean, I'm going Vanguard. Yeah, ever since using Christian Okoye with Vanguard, I really want to activate Vanguard in like a real Wheel of Mutt game. Holy shit, that card's awesome. So it looks like he gets Matchup, Nightmare, and Deep Out Elite. Uh, 2 AP, Deep Out Elite. Definitely gonna go with that. Deep Out Elite's amazing. I'll just go Tight End Apprentice and Deep Out Elite. So now I can give Antonio Gates corner routes, and he's got Deep Out Elite, so he'll catch those corner routes significantly better. I love where the team's at right now. We have three wins, so we're two wins away from making the playoffs. If we went to the playoffs right now, though, I would still be very, very concerned. No right guard, no wide receiver three, no fullback, no backup tight end, no linebackers that I want to take to the playoffs other than Micah, and no D-line. Although George Kalaf is was pretty amazing in this game. You thought I was going to forget the Rage Grit Wheel, huh? Well, guess what? I kind of thought myself I was going to forget the Rage Grit Wheel, but hey, I didn't. Let's see what we got here, baby. Anything spicy? Is that 88? Oh, 83 jackpot. Oh my God, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. Bro, Okoye has this 83 overall fullback. Number one, it's actually a crazy good fullback card because he's 6'1", 250. He's got really good blocking stats, speed, and everything. So it's already a good fullback. Number two, if I ever got another Pack-A-Punch wheel spin, or potentially if I was a psychopath, a prestige, and I could have the Vanguard Nigerian Nightmare, bro. I know like Wheel of Mud gets like double the views of some of those videos, and that's okay. I love making those videos anyway. But seriously, some of the most fun I ever had playing Madden was using this fucking Nigerian Nightmare card. I'm so glad it's an 83 jackpot. And this is pretty sick too. Anybody who scum kicks to me, it's coming right to the Nigerian Nightmare. Christian Okoye. That's huge. Huge rage wheel spin. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Awesome episode. I'll see you in the next one. We're one step closer to the playoffs. I'd love to see that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.